Getting ready to go here for 36 laps around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course. Five red lights ahead of the drivers green and flag, flag. it is lights out and away we go. Gore McFarlane leads the field down into turn one, gets a great jump off the line. Robert Sandler gets a little wheel spin there as he goes into turn one. Corey with a big lead into turn one. Pino Kreifeld has a look up the inside, isn't able to do anything there. As we go through turn two again, everybody clean so far. It's good to see. And the race is definitely underway right now. Pino Kreifeld already putting up some slight pressure on Corey McFarlane. As Pino goes by him, not sure what happened to Corey there, but he lost some time and drops down to P2. And Robbie Kinnable already up into P5. Awesome start for him there in the number 10 car. Driver from Belgium. Pino Kreifeld start P2. Currently in the lead ahead of Corey McFarlane. One second lead over him, so he's already cleared the DRS window. As Robert Sadler is in the pits. I think he took some damage on that one. So going down the front straight again. You can see Robbie Kinnable in P5 here. Going into turn one. He's on the mediums. He locks up slightly going into turn one. Oh, and he just came back on the track there. Uh, tapped around uh, Jack Reef, I think that was. And uh, Cor McFarlane has just dropped back to P4. Not 100% sure what happened to him. Uh, I am seeing that Cor Brand has crashed. Here we go. So Cor McFarlane here goes way too wide, gets in the grass, loses the rear end. Slides up on the oval there and uh, rejoins the track in P4 like we just saw. So not great for him. Going to lose some time. Uh, Robert Satter also goes by, but he's a lap down. So let's have a look at Cor Brand's incident here. I think he just went off as well. Cliffs the grass on the inside, but nothing major there. Goes offline and just slides off the track. Yeah, there's no grip on the uh, off the racing line. Trying to turn his car around and uh, recover from that. So unfortunate for Corey. He's going to drop back a little bit as well. Aaron Smith with a good run. Out of turn 13, down the front straight. Open DRS. And uh, he goes up the inside here with relative ease. Takes over P2. Nice move there by Aaron Smith. As Carl McFarlane is going to have to try again. On Aaron Smith here. Into turn 1. This time he is much further ahead into the braking zone. He takes over P2. From Aaron Smith. Still in the top 3. So, uh, Ooh, that was a bit close there. <laughs> Under the brakes. Pino, your race leader, comes into the pits. Slows down to the speed limit. Starts to go off the car, of course. And he goes on to the medium tires with 25 laps to go. And you can definitely see the grip advantage now as Jack Reef in the background has spun around in turn 5. Gets back going again. As Pino Kreifeld goes up the inside of Robbie Kinnable. Makes the pass up into P4. As Grabowski also passes Jack Reef. Uh, Corey just went off, gave P9 to Robert Sadler. Both of those drivers had lapped down. And Corey's still doing an excellent job so far. Managing his tyres as Mike Wayne moves ahead of Aaron Smith here. Into turn one. Ooh, that was a bit close there on the exit. But Mike Wayne up into P2. Gore McFarlane and Mike Wayne into the pits. 44.0 seconds is his pit stop time. As Aaron Smith is right behind him. Great view from that. So Mike Wayne's tyre is not up to optimal tyre pressures. Of course, they are pre-warmed in the tyre warmers. As a little bit of oversteer moment for Mike Wayne there. Out of turn five! And there's a big incident there. Aaron Smith locks up under the brakes. Great work, mate. Brakes way too late. And that was some uh, strong language there. I have to apologise about that. Corey pulls to the inside. Shows himself in the mirrors. And he goes by. Takes over the race lead. No, he doesn't. Never mind. Robbie holds it around the outside, so he's going to have to wait now. Corey, that is, for the start-finish straight. And uh, make another attempt at making the pass. Corey definitely really close to the gearbox of Robbie's car here. DRS opens on the start-finish finish line, the yard of bricks. This time Corey does go by, takes over the lead as Robbie locks up the inside front tyre, but... Keeps it away from the uh, from the gearbox of the car in front. Doesn't have a front end on the car. I'm not sure what it went on there. I'm going to have to rewind myself here. Oh! 
Driver error out of turn 7. On the power way too early. And he goes nose first into the guardrail there. Oh, that's got a sting real bad for him there. Absolute class of the field until that moment on. He was doing a great job. Might have been here though. Yeah, it's been here. So, like I said, Aaron goes way too deep on the brakes. Uh, Mike tried to hold the inside to defend the position and uh, yeah, Aaron just took way too much speed into the braking zone. That's definitely on him, I have to say. So, uh, unfortunate for Mike. He's, of course, like you heard on the voice chat. Uh, once again, apology, uh, apologies about that language, but uh, he was a little upset with that. Understandably so, it has to be said. Uh, Grabowski goes by Rogenbuck there for P3. Gotta be careful here on the power, and he's done that. So, two corners to go, turn 11 and turn... Sorry, turn 12 and turn 13 here, coming on to the banking. Cora McFarlane goes back to back. Going to take his second win of the season. He won at Hockenheim. He's going to win again at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. He takes over the championship lead. By a fine margin as well. Congratulations to Corey and the Drop Bear and Cozy team on another win. Robert Sandler comes home in P5 a lap down. Aaron Smith comes out in P2, Rogenbuck P6, Jack Reef P8. Of course, those guys are all lapped. Gotta wait for Robbie Kinnable. And I believe he's going to claim his first podium of the season. Started dead last from a quali ban, recovered to the top five early on. And uh, through misfortune of others, made his way up to P3 and never looked back. So he's going to take P3. Awesome performance by Robbie. As Corey is doing the. Well, right now, famous burnouts for the Drop Baron Cozy team. <laughs> there he is. He doesn't even care about the car's damage anymore. He knows he's going to get a new car again next week. So, uh, might as well burn it all up. So, congratulations to the top three drivers once again. Cormac McFarlane wins for the Drop Bear and Cozy team. 11.4 seconds ahead of Aaron Smith. Robbie Kinnable finishes P3 for BR Honda. Uh, Stephen Grabowski finishes P4 for Century Motorsports. Robert Sadler for Team VOR finishes a lap down in 5th. So a decent finish for him anyway, despite some bad luck early on. Uh, Alexander Rogenbuck finishes P6. Uh, Mike Wayne P7 had an incident with Aaron Smith, uh, which will most likely be looked at after the race, but he finishes P7. Jack Reeve P8. Corey Brand P9, also for Century Motorsports. And uh, for Audi Sport F1 is Pino Kraaienveld.